Hello dear ones, this is Dr. V and if you're new to this channel, I want to welcome you and I want to thank the entire Livy community for being so amazing. Thank you for watching my videos, commenting, liking, sharing and subscribing. It means the absolute world to me. Today we are doing a Twin Flame Soulmate Immortal Beloved um, reading and it really doesn't matter what label you use. It's only the love in your heart that, that truly means anything, okay? So let's open the reading with our first question for spirit, which is, what is the divine feminine's energy as we come into this reading? What is the divine feminine's current energy? Okay, so I think this is really lovely, Feminines. I'm feeling a very calm and centered energy coming from you. This is a very good thing. Um, what I'm feeling is that many of you are ready to find some peace and balance in your life. I believe that um, you're coming to the end of a cycle that has been very tumultuous for you. Um, I, I, I'm feeling that you've suffered a lot through this cycle. There's been a lot of um, difficult emotions, difficult situations with your divine masculine or you know beloved, however which way you see them but that you have been ready to let that go and truly heal yourself and get yourself back into balance because I love this combination. This is so beautiful. Look at this, the Six of Pentacles with the Balance card. Six of Pentacles is all about that reciprocity of giving and receiving, but I'm also feeling that for many of you, it is truly a new chapter where you are ready to receive. I'm feeling that even though this is about reciprocity, I feel that many of you have been giving for a very long time and you feel that you have not received what you deserve, right? And so there's been a lot of emotional pain that's attached to that. And I feel like that's why you also have been a bit stressed out. See, that's what this concern is about. There's always this concern in you. There's this, um, pressure and tension in you that, you know, are you being taken advantage of, right? Like you don't want to be in a position where you always feel like you are the one who is giving and you're not receiving enough. And I'm also feeling that this doesn't have to do just with your masculine or feminine, but it also has to do with who you are in the world. That this is something that has been kind of plaguing you your entire life. Like you are a giver. This is what I'm feeling. And there's nothing wrong with that. Being a, somebody who opens their hearts and gives freely is one of the most beautiful kinds of people that you can be on this planet. However, I do feel that over time, what has happened is that it has weighed on you and it has um, made you come out of balance. Okay. Not all the time, but in certain situations and in kind of like ebbs and flows, right? That, you know, oftentimes you do feel very balanced. You, you do feel like there's a free flowing energy here of you giving and receiving, but then there are other times where you have been concerned that you're losing that balance and you're starting to give too much. So I almost feel like you're very, very aware of this feminine. And I love that because it's gone from your kind of subconscious concern to more of a conscious effort that you're putting through to make sure that you stay in the flow. Like you're really working on this. You become very aware of this in, in your world and in your um, spiritual internal life. And you want to make sure that, it, that it's not manifesting in a negative way in your actual 3D outside world. So this is absolutely lovely. You are looking to find your balance. Beautiful. And look at this. And with that, you are 
looking for change and forgiveness. I just love this. Again, such a beautiful energy coming from you feminines. Very empowering. I'm feeling very, very calm. You know, like this very, like somehow you have found your center again. Maybe you've been meditating. Maybe you've been getting out in nature, having walks. Maybe you've been listening to soothing music. Maybe you've been spending time with the people that you truly care about in your life. You know, the people who really support you and who you feel that you can confide in. People that you can really open up your heart to. And I feel like because of that, you are definitely vibrating at a higher level and it's very much of a peaceful level. And so look at this, what it says on this card, tranquility, peaceful mind and heart, freedom from the past. How beautiful. I feel like you are definitely in the process of forgiving your past, the things that have gone on um, that have disappointed you, that have brought you pain. And so you are letting go and it's such a beautiful process that you're going through and it's not just about your masculine i'm feeling that he is one part of it but it's also about a lot of the other people and situations that have also brought you down feminine and look at this it's so lovely changed in the night you have changed quickly so I love this because what this tells me is that your evolution, your expansion spiritually is really speeding up feminine, right? You are gaining some momentum here, okay? Changes that you're making are going to manifest themselves faster in your life because of this momentum that you've been building up. And I believe that is why you got this beautiful Wheel of Fortune card. I love it because... This tells us that that cycle of pain and negativity and disappointment and being off balance is ending. Isn't that so gorgeous? And it's ending quickly. Okay, so you're about to turn a major corner feminine, major. There's some beautiful things waiting for you when this cycle ends. I love it. I can feel it so deeply. Oh, I just love it. I'm so excited. The future is so bright future is so bright for you. I can just feel it. Okay. So our next question then for spirit is what is the divine masculine's energy coming into this reading? Where is the divine masculine? Wow. Some major life lessons here. Okay, so look at this. Very, very fascinating. So the masculine, and of course, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate for all masculines, but the masculines that we are connecting with today, they are also in a process of you know, going deep within themselves, learning some major spiritual lessons. But the the there's a different kind of energy that I'm feeling here from these masculines. They are not as balanced yet as you feminines are. Okay, they're still, they're not in that um, same calm energy. They're not in that same forgiveness energy. Not quite yet. But what it is that they are in is more kind of a little bit stuck in the past. Okay. So in the, it's, it's interesting, like they are reflecting, but their reflection or like what they're thinking of as they look inside is very different than what you are thinking of feminines when you're looking inside. Like for example, your energy feminines was that of looking inside so that you can forgive, balance, bring back reciprocity, you know, be open to receiving and move on to the next ex exciting chapter of your life, you know, and you're ready. It's like you're ready to accept him also 
or not. Like it depends on where you are going and it depends on where he's going. Whereas like he is also kind of opening up his mind and heart because of this hermit energy. You know, he's definitely taking some time for himself to also explore his internal world. But I'm feeling that what he is finding is different than what you're finding feminines because of this justice card as well as this four of cups. So it's like, what I'm feeling is that he's looking for a similar outcome as you, right? He wants a resolution that feels like it's fair to him, you know, <laughs> or like fair, like to his life. And so he's looking for like, how do I find a balance that is fair? How do I find a resolution that I can be, um, satisfied with and that can be kind of like that can work for everyone right so he's looking for something that is going to work for him as well as his situation but the thing is is that what he's caught up on is more in the past okay so it's like he hasn't been able to yet move forward or forgive the way you are um feminine and I'm not saying that he is not forgiving you. It's more like he's just not in a forgiveness space yet. It's like it's still a few steps down from where he is right now. He's still a little bit in the wallowing in the past energy, right? Because look at this memories, you know, he's still kind of playing things out in his mind, like, you know, playing things out again and again that happened maybe between the two of you. Maybe he's playing out certain disagreements you've had or, you know, um, arguments you've had or places you've had that have, that have kind of brought you apart. And so there's some painful memories that he is still dealing with that he hasn't resolved yet. And so it is feeling like a toil and labor to him. Like it's feeling heavy. He's like laboring through and he's not as kind of, um, you know, he's not feeling the kind of peace that you're feeling feminines. That's what it is, right? He wants to, because I feel like he's looking for that. This is what he's looking for. He's looking for that peaceful resolution. He's looking to feel that peace, but he's still struggling to get there. And so that is the thing with the four of cups because the four of cups is being dissatisfied with where you are. Um, it's about not wanting to partake of anything that is given to you. So it's like, it's almost like a kind of like a, unappreciative energy as well. Like he's like, he's kind of a little bit ungrateful right now. He's not looking at necessarily the things in his life that he has to be grateful for that he like, he's not really focusing on all the positive aspects of his life that he could appreciate. He's a little bit wallowing in the energy of, um, things that he doesn't appreciate, the things that he wishes would be different, right? There's a bit of frustration. There's a bit of, um, tangled, you know, emotional entanglement or tangled emotions that he has to kind of undo or un, you know, like, um, uh, it's like all tangled up. So he kind of has to unweave it. He has to get it straight again. And so he's, he's a bit of that dissatisfied energy mired in memory. And so what he's doing right now is that because he's in this hermit's energy with that, he has stepped back to observe you feminine. He has stepped back to observe you. So see, he may be on social media, fascination, curiosity, watching from a distance because, right, he's in that hermit mode. He's kind of, you know, in that withdrawn energy, a um, little bit of that frustration as well. And so that's also why he got the falling card, which says the unknown, descent, momentum, change. Okay, so in the same way, feminines, that you were in that wheel of fortune, right? A lot of like quick momentum coming your way because you've been doing the work. You've been doing the internal forgiving, balancing, um, calmness, letting go, um, spiritual centeredness, right? Like all that stuff. And so you are moving forward faster and his momentum is kind of falling in the opposite kind of direction because he hasn't yet gotten out of, um, you know, out of, bad memories and into forgiveness or full acceptance. So I'm feeling like he's still struggling to fully accept. And that's what this four of cups is all about. It's like this inability to accept what has happened. 
you know, wanting to um, resist. Okay, this is a very resistant energy. Okay? I would say that that right now, feminines, you're in a very accepting energy and your masculine is in a resisting energy, but he needs to make that step. And you know, because I, I, I do feel that it's possible for him. I do feel that he will, he will make that step, but it's gonna require him to, you know, give it more effort, like the kind of effort that you have given it, right? It's not gonna be a half-ass kind of thing, like he can't get away with it by doing it halfway, right? He's gonna have to, you know, go full in exactly the way you did feminine in order to heal. But I'm feeling that it is actually positive because of these two cards, because he has chosen to go within himself and he is looking for a positive resolution, okay? So it's just a matter of time and how much effort he actually wants to put into um, changing his vibration, up leveling his energy, um, you know, stop from just being like observing you from afar and actually move forward and take some sort of positive action towards you and not focus on any kind of bad, you know, memories that have left that, you know, that kind of like bad taste in his mouth. Okay, very, very fascinating here, but potential, right? There's good potential there. So then, Spirit, what then is the current um, collective energy between the masculine and the feminine right now? What is the collective energy between them? See, there you have it. I was just, what was I just saying, right? His inability to appreciate. There you have it. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm feeling that beneath all of the complications, um, whatever has gone on between you and your beloved, there is still a belief that both of you have that is proving to be unshakable. Like both of you still have a belief in each other. Like you still believe in this connection even if a lot of crap has happened. And what I mean by that is just things that are normal parts of relationships where, you know, people miscommunicate. Um, there's a misunderstanding, you know, something you said, he took it the wrong way and reacted or something he said to you, you took it the wrong way and you reacted, but he didn't mean it that way. Like things that happen when you have two very different people who are raised in two different families, two different homes, you know, with, um, two different sets of experiences, right? Those, those challenges are normal and part of any relationship. I, I'm talking about those of you who are on this journey where, you know, circumstances may be keeping you apart, situations may be keeping you apart, or sometimes even, you know, lack of maturity, right? Sometimes that happens as well, where, you know, um, people just aren't ready. They're not mature enough yet to understand what the connection is to value value it and to move forward and make a real commitment to it. Sometimes that feels very scary, right? There's so many different scenarios here and different choices that need to be made, right? And people have that free will to do so. So that's why I'm what I'm feeling here for those of you who do have that strong connection, you and you're just going through these kind of very natural struggles that can come up. I'm feeling that beneath all of that, there is a strong foundation where both of you truly do believe in this connection, okay? So that's the foundation. However, uh, like that's, that's at the bottom of it, but then there's a few layers, right? A few layers that are on the top of it that are the comp more complicated layers. And so, see, this is so fascinating. I love this. Thank you, Spirit, for making it so clear. Like I'm feeling that this part this part is the masculine. This is the connective energy, and this is the feminine. It's it's just it's so fascinating. 
I feel like spirit has given us a full picture here of how this, you know, what is that connective energy in that both of you are right in a suspension, which makes sense because, right, what has this reading showed us in terms of your energies being a little bit on the opposites right now, right? Feminine being in an acceptance energy, a forgiving energy, masculine being in a resistance, kind of, you know, mired in the past, a little bit haunted by the past, not able to get over energy. So, it makes sense that you guys right now the connection is suspended right it's kind of hanging in the air right because people need to be ready people need to make some decisions on where they want to go next the feminine is definitely coming into her own power more and more because of that those cycles ending right that wheel of fortune for her so she has to decide you know eventually i think feminine you're gonna have to ask yourself the question what is it that truly makes you feel joy, right? What, where is the joy in your life? Is it with this masculine the way he is now? Or is it with the masculine that in your mind you feel he could be, right? Because those are two different people. The masculine he is now versus the masculine he could be. And same thing with feminines, right? If you're a masculine watching this, you know, it's the same exact thing. It's like, do you want the feminine that she is, she or he is now feminine energy? Or do you, are you thinking about what the feminine could be? Which of those two people are you waiting for, right? So you're going to have to ask yourself that question. And so this is the connective energy is that right now the masculine is in the emperor's energy, right? Which is, an, it's, it's a, it's a, more hard and controlling energy, right? It's the energy of wanting to be the leader, wanting to be the person who is look, looked up to. Um, it's the energy of wanting um, you to look up to him, wanting to be like an authority figure, wanting to feel like he's a manly man, right? <laughs> it's a manly man energy. And that's what he, he's kind of like stuck in that. Like, you know, it's a little bit of ego, a little bit of pride, right? Hasn't been able to appreciate the good things yet, right? Um, needs to do that. Is a little bit in that, you know, ungrateful energy, more focused on the problems than the solutions. And so that's why it's like he needs to become a mature man, right? There's a maturity process that, you know, is part of this connective energy is that this masculine needs to mature out of these ego driven, pride driven, you know, um, can't hold on, uh, can't like, can't move forward from the past, you know, ungrateful, resistant energy. And that's definitely keeping this connection stuck. Whereas you feminines, beautiful. Look at this nine of pentacles. One of my favorite cards because it's about being totally independent. Okay. Not having to rely on anybody for money, for status, for love, for emotional um, dependence, nothing. You have built your own world and you are happy with it. If you were to accept your masculine in, he would only enhance the situation that is already there. You don't need him to make your situation. Like you, you, it's not like you are nothing without him. No, you are everything. You are totally full. This is what this says. You are totally full. And if he were to match you and come to you in that same energy, he would enhance that. He would take something that is beautiful already and make it like super, super fantastic. That's the energy that you're in. And that's why obviously you're hesitating because you know he's not quite there yet. <laughs> so you're hesitant, obviously towards this connection right now because you are in a really good place and you can sense from whatever contact you've been having with him that he may not be. He's still kind of, you know, resistant. And so you can't, none of us can force somebody to come out of res resistance, right? That's the, that's the problem is that it's, it's really not in us to be able to uh, take somebody from a resistant energy to an acceptance energy, right? This is that is a process that they need to work through for themselves. So, wow, thank you, Spirit. I hope that this is resonating for you guys because look how specific, I mean, it is so clear, the energies that are coming through. And it's like, 
I am so, so excited for you feminines and for you masculines, you know, because you are where you are, right? If we can make peace with where we are, where we're at, that is okay. We should make peace with that because the quicker we can make peace with that and stop and drop the resistance, the more powerfully we can move forward. So wherever you both are is good. It's all good. And only good can come from having those good intentions to move forward. Okay, so spirit then, let's, um, can you please give us some messages from your beloved to you who is watching this video from their deepest heart? If they could say something to you, what, what would that be? What would they say to you if they could? So see, see how this is very much in alignment with um, some of the things the masculine was feeling. Um, shadow card, I don't deserve you. See that, that, you know, lack of confidence that, you know, feelings of rejection or feelings of pain from the past, drawing out on those memories, right? The inability to kind of move on from a little bit of that um, four of cups and that, uh, memories, right? Like kind of like that bad memories, uh, situation. So there's definitely a deservability issue there. Absolutely. But look, being away from you hurts like hell. I didn't realize it would be this difficult. Okay. So again, there you have it again, right? He is definitely in pain from the good memories and the bad. I still have dreams about you and our happy times together again. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. You see, see how like, and I, and we, I said this very clearly. He is stuck in memories from the past. Okay. Dreaming about you, um, hurting from the distance, um, you know, going around in circles in his head, in his heart, right? Knowing this, look at this. You understand me better than anyone else. Isn't that beautiful? Knowing that because it goes back to the fact that you both still believe, right? So it's very painful that that not being together in the way that you want. Yes, it is hurting him very, very deeply here. Okay, so if that is the case, then spirit, what are the possible future energies of this connection in the near future? Just the next 30 days. What are the possible future energies of this connection? Okay, this is really beautiful. I like this. Oh, wow. Beautiful. I love it. This is beautiful. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that it like, um, again, right now, this nine of wands, okay? This is the card of being on guard, feeling a little bit wounded, right? Still in that hermit's energy, you know, trying to ward off more pain, you know, trying to ward off more rejection. So definitely there is this energy coming from the masculine. But what I'm feeling is that it is going to dissipate. It is going to slowly come to an end, this on guard energy, this I'm wounded, you know, life sucks. <laughs> Like, you know, things that haven't gone my way, you know, I'm just, you know, that's why I've, you know, gone into my hermit mode because, you know, I just can't take all this anymore. You know, I'm not going to deal with this anymore, right? You have that, that, that lack of balance and that, you know, like that four of cups, like, you know, everything sucks. There's, nothing, you know, there's nothing good to pick from here. Nothing's right, right? So I'm feeling that this is a little bit of a lingering energy, but it's on its way out because look at this. Oh my God, look how beautiful is this? This tells us that the masculine is definitely going to get out because his awakening is coming. Oh my gosh. Realization, progress. Your twin is awakening to your connection. Oh my gosh. See, I'm telling you, I felt it throughout this entire reading that it's, it's like, yes, he's in that uh, kind of like annoying emperor energy like that, you know, he needs to like, kind of like go into his man cave, lick his wounds a little, right? <laughs> he needs, you know, kind of like deal with his pride, deal with his, you know, but beneath all of that, the love is there. Okay. The love is there and he is, he's not going to let it go that quickly. 
He just is not. And so look at this Ace of Wands, a new beginning. And look at this, this, this card is, look, your love is blooming. This is gonna come back. And the Ace of Wands is a beautiful card to get because that shows action. He is going to deal with this and he is looking for a new way to take action towards your connection, towards how he feels about you, to getting you back in his life. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Ace of Wands, what a beautiful card. He is preparing himself. He is preparing himself to come back strong to you feminines. This is what he is preparing for and he will. He is going to awaken. He's going to deal with his crap. He's going to get back into appreciation. He's going to get back into a positive mode and then when he is ready, he is going to take that new action and you are going to have that new beginning. Amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. I love it, love it, love it. I'm so excited for you guys. And I want to tell you, you know, it is, you know, this is the beauty of life. You just don't know when everything changes and everything just turns. I get so many emails and messages from you guys saying, Dr. V, oh my gosh, we reconciled. He called me, you know, we, we met, it was wonderful. We're back on track. I mean, I want to let you know, especially for those of you who are struggling and sometimes, of course, it's so natural to feel that pain. You know, we all do. We all go through it. But I want you to know that there's tremendous hope. There is tremendous hope. You know, there are so many millions of you beautiful people on this journey of love who are reconciling, who are coming together, who are uniting with the person that you love, who are working it out. And I want you to keep the faith, okay? I want you to really keep the faith that it is possible for you too. And I love it because I get those messages and it just, nothing makes me happier than reading those messages that you guys are uniting, reuniting, whatever is the case in your story, right? So keep the faith and let me give you your affirmation of the day before I we do our final advice from spirit, okay? So your affirmation for the day, I want you to feel great about yourself today. So it is, I'm proud of who I am. I am so proud of who I am. That is your affirmation. Make sure to write it in the comment box as well as leaving me a comment because you know I love reading those. And um, I want you to go through your whole day feeling really proud of yourself, being so proud of the person that you are, your achievements, your successes, um, your values, the way you live your life, how much people love you, you know, how much love, friends, family, what a vibrant, beautiful life you have and pat yourself on the back. <laughs> all right, do it for me, do it for you, do it for all of us. All right, so let's go ahead and close the reading with final advice from Spirit. What would that be? Sacral Chakra. I am comfortable in my own body and I'm sensitive to other people's feeling so beautiful i love this so i think what spirit is trying to say here is that be very proud of yourself be comfortable in your own skin right um go with the flow and you know feel that connection to all of the other beautiful souls around you because that's what real love is feeling that love and connection to all of uh the creatures in this universe other people animals right um just being open and loving and kind and being proud of who you are and looking at others with that love and compassion Okay, guys, I hope that you guys really love this reading. I thought it was so beautiful and so positive. I hope it resonated for you. Of course, if you'd like to have specific guidance on your connection, the link is in the box below to my private readings as well as to the Oracle decks that I've created for you. So you know I love you, you know I believe in you, and you know I'm always here for you. I will see you all on the next video.